Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick setup guide on how to utilize a command expert software in building up a script to automate your testing. So in this example, I'm using Fieldfox in network analysis mode to grab some data and automate the whole testing as it goes. So as you can see on the screen, this is how you're going to find command expert in Keysight. So the best way is to go to any of the search engine and just type in Keysight command expert. And the first one that comes out will be most likely the right one. So this is a website for command expert in keysight.com. So I do recommend to download the whole bundle, which includes the IO library, so which is also called Connection Expert. And then Command Expert is the software that we want. And BenchView is just another software that you can use to do a quick data logging. So I have this IO library installed. And I just want this want to show you the Command Expert today. So this way you're going to download it. So once you download and install, and this will be how it looks like. So just ignore everything here. I have done it just before this, just to test out. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your Fieldfox is connected to IO library because it will make it easier to be found in the command expert connections. If you don't do that, it's not the end of the world. And I can also show you how it's going to be done. So let's remove this for time being. So if you don't have any other instruments connected to your computer, it won't show up here. As you can see, this is a few folks that's connected to this computer and it's via a switch. The switch does assign a DHCP IP address automatically to all the instruments that's connected to this computer. So you can check back my previous video on how to set up connections between computer and the instruments, either DHCP, dynamic IP or static IP. So the address is 192.168.1.102. So the first thing to do is to add in the instruments via LAN device and just type in. So because we are using skippy command via socket, so I do recommend to use socket. And it all depends on the visa library that you are using. PY visa in Python is using socket method. I'm not sure about MATLAB, it could be high sleep or instrument VXI. So once you test this and verify, it means that this instrument is ready to go. It's all connected correctly. And you should see uh, instruments added here. Okay, so we don't need this anymore for now. So we go back to command expert. Let's say we want to connect a new instrument to it. So just click on new instrument, next. So this is the one that we just added prior to this. And we can actually do manual and you can also type in the, if you haven't done it so on the connection expert, which we just closed, so it's not here. So it's either way. So you can do it before or during this. So this is one that you want. So you can click next. And let's say you are interested to do the measurement in NA mode. And click next. And this is just a name descriptions that you want to put in over here so that you know this is the right instruments that you want to connect to. Then add to my instruments. So once you're ready, you can either simulate or connect. So connect, of course, you will see the changes on Fieldfox. Simulate is really just simulating how you will respond, default value. It's really useful when you want to develop a sequence and then you want to see the effect when you don't have the instruments. As of now, we have the instruments. Let's go to connect. So this is all the commands that's available in Fieldfox for network analysis mode. So that's a lot of commands here. So for now, I'll just show you a few Skippy command that we're going to use commonly to do the setup and also retrieve the data. Let's start with setting up the instruments. So we want to make sure that it's in NA mode. So let's type in mode. So this is the one, select mode. As you can see, it does put in some description on what is it all about command is to send a command to change the setting of the instruments. 
query is the one that you're going to ask the oh. instruments to tell you what is the status what is the current status of that you want to check what mode it is in so we add step and execute so it returns an a so what if we have another mode let's say escape we change it to spec and mode and then we execute again so you tell you it's sa mode so we don't really need these two what we really need is to do this we want to make sure that it's selecting the NA mode before we run okay so we have this now and let's see yep, select and we put in a NA add step and execute as you can see it changed to NA mode so this is a skip command that you're going to use later in our scripting so this is just the first step so let's say you want to grab the data so from my experience is called data uh, trace data question mark so let's try data and so we have a few types of data here so this is a skip um, this is the send and read selected trace data unformatted this is formatted And before that, we have to set what type of block that we want to return. So, for example, we want to return it as uh, integer 32. So, this is the step that we're going to add in. So, it says I'm able to process the past Skippy response. Okay, so it might be that we don't have the right data set. So, I'm going to set this. Let's see over here so let's read through and see whether we need precondition so as you can see we have this data corrections on correction is where your calibration is on it doesn't show that we need to sign up so let's try we let's start with ascii real um, this one with it syntax yep so it requires formatting let's say formatting we need to set format form data ASCII zero. So we have to do it here form data ASCII zero over here form data. Yep. So currently is we can question it. So it's ASCII zero, which is the correct format that we want. Then we capture the data. Add in, add in, so it becomes ASCII. Then we select this one, command question mark, and there we go. So as you can see, this is the set of data that's coming back from this trace. So if you have 201 points, you are looking at 201 points here. So we don't really need this, or you can use it for checking purpose. So as you can see, this is quite direct. We have to set the title data and then we retrieve the data as we go. And of course, you can set up different traces like add trace. So, display window trace. Memory state, not another one. Trace. So, we want to have trace two on. And so, we can set it to, let's say, trace two, boolean. So it's one or zero or on and off. Another trace. Does it work? Let's trace one. Then we trace two. Let's see. So okay, something wrong here. Okay, let's close this and let's run again on the field box. Let's connect back. Recent 102. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with that. Okay, but anyway, um, you got the gist on how to use this. Alright, so this is how it looks like. So we can actually start from scratch again start play sequence so you go step by step 
Maybe you remove this one for now. And you can use this to do a multiple loops. So this is the iteration side on the profile. And then you can get, let's say, 10 snap, 10 iterations. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. So every trace average is 1, 2, 1, 6 milliseconds. So you can either do that all. You can actually export it to the sequence to a certain programming language. So by default, it's Skippy. So these are the Skippy that we used just now over here. And you can actually export it to C Sharp, Python, MATLAB. So let's say we copy uh, set it to MATLAB. And if you have set the right library, the Visa library, you can actually just copy this and then paste it on MATLAB and click Run. Chances are it should run with a problem as long as you set the Visa library correctly. So I'm more familiar with PY Visa. So this is how it looks like. So this is the resource manager. You have to import PY Visa. You have to pip install PY Visa prior to using this. Then just copy and paste the whole thing. So this is how it looks like. So from resource manager, we're going to de declare another instance that ties to this IP address. And from there, every time we write, means that we are sending the instrument as KB command. And then every time we query, this is how we query, get back the data. So the challenge is this. You want it to be ASCII code or integer, so it might be different. So this one, you have to look back at the PY Visa library. This is really as simple as that. So save to file, you can save it as a Python file, or the other one I want to show you is C -sharp. Not sure whether anyone's still using VB. So C sharp again, you have to call the right class, the Visa class, which is already pre-installed together with the Keysight IO library suit or connection expert. So as you can see, it's over here. There is a evil it's over here, the driver. So, so that's it. It's actually as simple as that to utilize Command Expert to come up with a set of sequence testing and then you can export it to some of the scripting um, platform then copy and paste from there you can actually change look at the skippy command that you want and then change as you go okay thanks for watching